Hello and welcome back, my name is Jennifer and I make stuff. And in this video I'm gonna show you how to make your own Stevie Nicks inspired top hat. So these are all the tools you're going to need to make this Stevie Nicks inspired top hat. And I'm gonna put all the tools and materials that I used in this video in the description below. So the first step is to use a navy blue velvet ribbon. This one is going to be in the same style as the ribbon that is around the top hat that I have here. So I'm going to remove the original ribbon on this top hat, but I'm going to do a similar style that this ribbon had. And that is a ribbon that goes around the top hat first. And then I'm going to create a bow with the leftover ribbon that I have. You obviously don't have to do this part if you just want to create a simple ribbon that goes around the top hat. Or if you have a top hat that already has a velvet ribbon, then you don't have to do this step. I'm just going to show you how I'm going to create a similar style of ribbon with a bow attached to it. Like the original ribbon that was on my top hat. So I just wanted to do something similar to that. Even though it's not 100% what you can see in the reference pictures that I'm working from. But I just wanted to do something fancy and... And something extra. So I'm not going to talk that much during this process of how I create this ribbon with this bow to the top hat. I'm just showing the process quickly here because this one isn't really necessary step to do when you're going to create this top hat. It's just something extra that I wanted to add to this top hat. Now this part is going to be a combination of two pictures that I saw of different variations of the top hat that Stevie Nicks wears in some of her pictures. And the roses that I'm creating here are from some navy blue hair ties actually that have this velvety fabric around them. And I'm just using a needle and thread to create the look of a velvet rose or velvet flower. And this one also had the perfect center for me to attach these old chunky earrings that I have that I'm not using. And I'm just just removing all the parts that I feel are a little bit too much and a little bit too chunky and just keep the parts that would be some nice accessories to these velvety roses.
And when that was done, I just temporarily placed the roses where it looked best and looked at the reference pictures to see if the placement looked good. And then I just added a simple stitch to attach the roses to the velvety blue ribbon. The next step is to use two white and one black ostrich feather and these ones are just going to be attached in between the top hat and the blue ribbon. So the ribbon is going to be sort of a holder for the feathers to keep them in place. And you can see that I'm bending the feathers a bit so they would have this kind of bow shape that goes a little bit rounded so they would follow the flow of the top hat when I'm attaching the feathers. I'm trying to make sure that the placement looks sort of similar to the reference pictures that I'm working from and has a similar shape to the feathers so they would have the same kind of flow and shape. And the top hat is pretty much done from this point. This is pretty much as close to the reference pictures that I saw of Stevie Nicks top hat. So you don't have to do the next steps that I'm going to show you now. I felt like I wanted to add something extra to actually hide some of the parts of the feathers that you can see here underneath the ribbons. So I'm going to use some artificial flowers in this black and grey shades. And I have some of these leaves that came with the flowers. So I'm just placing these in the areas that I can cover up some of those ends that I felt like was a little bit distracting. Then I also have these tinier blue flowers, but I felt like they were a little bit too bright royal blue and I wanted to make them a little bit darker so they would match this navy blue and black shades that I have on this top hat. Decided to dip them in some acrylics mixed in with a lot of water and then just when it dried it had these kind of spots that made it look a little bit deeper and have some of these black shades also so it would match the other accessories much better. And also this one would hide some of the areas that I felt was a little bit too distracting. So this was the inspiration and this is the final result. Just as the title says, quick and easy Halloween slash cosplay tutorial. <laughs> Once you have finished the top hat, it's really up to you how you want to combine this look. Because pretty much if you just get the makeup done, your hair done and then have the hat, then you can just combine it with whatever kind of cool looking black glamorous outfit you want and it's going to look perfect no matter what. It's still going to capture that Stevie Nicks kind of style, that little bit of a darky witchy bohemian look to it. I just wanted to show you the most accessorized part which is the top hat. And the top hat that I use is obviously not the kind of top hat that I saw her wear in the pictures that I saw as reference because her top hat was like up here and also the top hat that she had was made of I think it was made of velvet or the, some kind of softer material and also if you're wondering about the makeup look that I'm wearing here it's actually going to be a video that I'm going to upload to my TikTok account so it's going to be a time lapse of me just applying this makeup look and then just putting on the rest of the outfit. A simple black blazer and a simple black v-shaped top and then just added all those jewelry that I thought would match inspired by the jewelry that I saw her wearing in some of the pictures and when it comes to the hairstyle I just put it up in a simple bun when the hair was a little bit damp and then just let my hair down so it had these kind of natural curls so I could shape it to a shape that could look very good combined when you had a hat on. This actually worked really good I just did something simple here. Yeah, that's pretty much it about this tutorial. Nothing complicated, nothing you have to really think that much about. Some of these materials that I used on this top hat are just my own take on this Stevie Nicks inspired top hat because the majority like these kind of 
velvety roses with these rhinestones and then these ostrich feathers. They are the exact style that I saw in the pictures of her top hat, but the, the other details like the artificial flowers and leaves and all that was just some details that I found at home and I thought, yeah, those could actually look pretty cool combining it with the other accessories that I'm going to use for this top hat. It's pretty much all up to you how you want to style your own top hat. You don't have to make it exactly the way you see it in the reference pictures. You just use the reference pictures as inspiration and then just play around with your own imagination and you can create something very cool or very glamorous and beautiful. So yeah, I was a little bit late when it comes to following the uh, Halloween train of uploading YouTube tutorials on some costume ideas. Yep, yeah, so that's it for this video and I hope you enjoyed the process of me creating this Stevie Nicks inspired top hat and I'll see you in the next project.